All right, you warriors of life, brace yourselves because today we're diving headfirst into stoicism and I won't be whispering sweet nothings in your ear. If you're looking for fluffy, feel-good advice, hit the exit button now. But if you're ready to take control of your relationships, navigate life's minefields, and emerge stronger than ever, you're in the right place. Lesson one, the reality check. So you're in a relationship, huh? Brace yourself for some hard truths, Chrysippus said, to make the best of what is in our power and take the rest as it occurs. Translation, focus on what you can control in your relationship and let go of the rest. You can't change others, but you can change how you react to them. Lesson two, the stoic ego. Bruce Chrysippus wasn't one to sugarcoat reality. He believed in cutting the fat and getting straight to the point. You're not the center of the universe, my friend. Let go of that ego. The sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll find peace in your relationships. Lesson three, navigating conflict. Conflict is as natural as breathing. Chrysippus was all about embracing it and using it as a tool for growth. Arguments happen. It's how you handle them that matters. Remember, it's not about winning. It's about understanding and growing together. Lesson four, stoic resilience. Let's face it, relationships can be a battlefield. But Chrysippus had a message. Injuries may be forgiven, but not forgotten. Forgiveness is a virtue, but it doesn't mean you have to forget the lessons learned. Carry them with you and let them make you stronger. Lesson five. The Stoic Compass. Chrysippus believed in having a moral compass that guided his actions. What's yours pointing toward? A successful relationship isn't about short-term pleasure. It's about long-term fulfillment. Stay true to your values. Lesson six, Stoic Flexibility. Life isn't a straight road and neither are relationships. Chrysippus advised, as the same fire assumes different shapes when it consumes objects differing in shape, so does the one self take the shape of every creature in whom he is present. Adapt, my friends. Be like water, flexible yet unwavering. Lesson seven, the stoic way of love. Love, a powerful force. Chrysippus urged, the soul is dyed the color of its thoughts. Your thoughts shape your love, so fill your mind with love and positivity. Love isn't about possession. It's about freedom and mutual growth. Lesson eight, the art of letting go. Chrysippus, the master of Stoicism, reminded us, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. The same goes for relationships. Don't cling to what's toxic or unnecessary. Let go and you'll make room for the beautiful. So there you have it, the Stoic Guide to Relationships. It's not just words, it's a call to action. Take these lessons and apply them to your life and watch your relationships transform. Remember, you're in control of your destiny. Stay Stoic, stay fierce, and let's conquer the realm of relationships together.